The fleet engine-driven welders are designed for a welder of any skill level. As you can see, the control panel is divided into three sections. Welding controls are all gathered in the top section. Most prominent is the output control knob, which provides fully continuous control to the operator. Below the output control knob are two rocker switches. The center one is the weld mode switch. This allows the operator to switch from stick mode to TIG and then to pipe and gouge mode. As you can see, these icons have different colors. The stick mode icon is black, which corresponds to the amperage range available in this mode. The TIG mode is white. The white color corresponds to the amperage range on the output control of this mode. Moving the weld mode switch to the right selects pipe gouge mode. As you can see, the icons are red and black, which corresponds to the range switch at the left. In this mode, the operator has a choice between a high and low amperage range, which is selected using the range switch. On the right hand side is the arc force control. Arc force is the last ditch burst of current designed to prevent the electrode from sticking. Turn it to plus 10 for a harsher arc and minus 10 for a softer arc. Most of the time it's just fine on zero. The middle section is all about the engine itself. It contains the run stop switch, the start push button, and the various engine gauges, including oil pressure, fuel and hour meter, and oil temperature. At the far right is a six pin remote control connection, and it is auto sensing. There is no local remote switch on this machine. The lower section of the welder contains the auxiliary power plugs and the positive and negative terminals for welding output. As you can see, the negative battery cable is very easy to access. The engine oil dipstick is here. If you need to add oil to the engine, you can add it here. On the Fleet 500, the engine oil should be changed every 1000 hours, or every 500 hours on the Fleet 650. It's very easy to drain the oil on this machine. As you can see, the drain hose can be fed through holes on the side or the bottom of the fleet. When the oil is changed, you should also change the oil filter, which can be found here. The fuel filter is here and should also be changed every thousand hours. One last part is the air cleaner. It should be changed every 500 hours or every 250 hours in dusty environments. So there you have it, Lincoln Electric's new fleet series of diesel engine driven welders. For more information, please check out www.lincolnelectric.com.